Do you have calf cramps at night? I'm Roland Liebscher-Bracht. Let's start by sitting on the chair. Please position your right foot over your left knee. And then reach forward to grab the tip of your foot, pulling the whole foot downward and also bending the toes. You can accomplish this by softly moving your hand around a little, which enables you to bend the toes downward quite effectively and comfortably. Make sure the foot remains properly aligned with the shin. Then, you simply go ahead and pull. We are now stretching the antagonist muscles. To the calf. You always have to remember with calf cramps that it's not just about the calf, but also about the antagonists, the opposing muscles. When both are relaxed, then you will have significantly less chance or risk of your calf cramping at night. Just pull it down, keep going. You'll feel it here on the instep, maybe in the toes, maybe here in the front of the shin, and you keep increasing it. And we now incorporate our breath. You breathe in deeply and out deeply. And as you exhale, you do a little bit more, and then you can gently push back. Try to lift your foot upwards with the toe, but at the same time, keep it steady with your hand so it can't actually move away. Also, this part tightens. You can feel the strength in here. And the strength that's in there through the effort is now releasing the tension. Then you pull further down and gradually increase the stretching intensity a little more each time. Breathe in deeply and nicely and pull down just hard enough that you can still handle it well. Are you good? The closer you are to that boundary, the more powerful this exercise becomes. And then you gradually release, let the muscles go back to normal, and gently move your toes a little. We do the same with the other foot, because you don't want to get calf cramps on either side. So once again, pull the foot downward, and flex those toes. Make sure to keep the line here and patiently wait for the tissue to yield further. Make sure to keep in mind to drink a sufficient amount of water throughout the entire day and once more in the evening so that there's enough fluid in your muscles as well as in your fascia. We do this for two minutes so that the tissue is properly stretched and to release all the tension, ensuring the whole system stays calm at night. Keep pulling it steadily downwards, very good. You can feel with your arm how it keeps going down. Remain there as well, still just within the comfort pain threshold. And then gradually make your way out. And we're basically using this now as preparation for sitting on our heels. Place your feet as flat on the ground as possible. Don't bend them inward. Make them an extension of your lower legs and then try to sit on it. If that doesn't work, it's not even a big deal. If it only goes up to here and then everything here is too short, it's still good because you're still pressing on the foot. In this particular case, you can also insert something extra and then take a seat on it like a cushion or a pillow, and then you can press both of your legs downwards with a little bit more strength. You see? And here we just linger for one to two minutes, waiting for everything to settle nicely. Keep breathing. And you might notice how it keeps opening up more and more here. And then we finally release all the tension at the front. And after that, we'll take care of the calf itself. Okay? But always keep in mind two different directions of joint movement, not just one. Now you can apply some tension here, as if you were attempting to. Lift yourself up. 
Go ahead and try to lift yourself up now. Then let go and try once more to get up on your toes. Make an effort to fully stretch your knees, sort of. Let go once more, descending a little further. And apply a little more strength, then gradually go slightly deeper. And then you slowly come back out. And now you take the knee hero, or alternatively, a few books. And now let's start with the two flat wedges and step on them with both feet. The chair is just to stabilize you a bit. And now you bend your knees and shift your center of gravity a bit further so that your torso presses down on the knees as much as possible. And then you distinctly notice that it pulls quite a bit, right in the area of the ankle or at the start of the Achilles tendon in that specific region. At this moment, we are focusing on stretching the deeper calf muscle, which is positioned beneath the larger, thicker one that shapes the form of the calf. With this, we're already releasing all the tension there. Let yourself be pushed further down and keep your knees bent. Observe here how you can often tell by the pants fabric. That. The angle begins to give way as the fabric slightly shifts over the skin. Keep lowering downwards. And aim to put as much weight as possible directly on the knees. Because that way, the strength distribution into the ankle is optimal. Keep pressing down. You might also want to check if you have a magnesium deficiency. This can sometimes cause unpleasant calf cramps. Consider testing your magnesium levels, or alternatively, get supplements to drink in the evening as a preventative measure. Let's see if that also makes it less likely for you to get it again. And then we gradually and carefully make our way back. Now we're going to increase the angle by stacking the two base parts on top of each other, or by arranging the books in the most appropriate manner. And now, we're going to place each foot on a wedge, but ensure that the legs are completely extended. And now you notice it's pulling more where the calf always cramps, where you usually feel it. Yes, in the large muscle. That is located at the back of the lower leg. And you can gently allow yourself to go further into the stretch. Take deep breaths. And once you begin to notice that the stretch is easing up a bit, slowly let your hips move a bit forward. Keep going on. But always be particularly mindful of the sensations you're experiencing. Keep your knees fully extended. If you can't feel them fully extended anymore, step back, stretch them again, and then move your pelvis forward once more. You'll notice right away that it pulls more. And now you can imagine that you are pulling those night calf cramps right out of your calf. Do these exercises regularly, every evening before sleeping. Move a bit further forward. Push a bit further. Keep your knees straight. Always pay attention to that and then slowly begin to release. You won't be experiencing night cramps again.